It's Ken from Rever Guitars, and I am coming to you live from the Wildwood Lair as well. The temporary but permanent but also mobile Wildwood Studios in Louisville, Colorado, where I like to come and hang out with my good friend, Greg Cock. And also, all of my good friends at Wildwood Guitars, which are present in the room, and they're excited about stuff, and they're talking in the background. Yes, because that's what we do here. We get excited about Reverend Guitars, and we sell a lot of Reverend Guitars because we are Wildwood. I hold in my hands the Reverend Dirt Bike. And uh, this guitar, as of today, uh, isn't out yet, hasn't been officially announced. This is coming Summer Nam 2017. So by the time you see this video, this guitar will be available to you through Wildwood. Uh, this is the Dirt Bike. It is the third installment of a signature model by Reverend for the almighty Reeves Gabrels, uh, Tim Machine, David Bowie collaborator, uh, Bad Company, Robert Plant wrote and played with Ozzy and of course the lead guitar player for The Cure. Um, boy, trying to list out that guy's career. <laughs> that being said, uh, we've done two previous models with Reeves, the RG1 uh, bolt-on solid body and uh, our Space Hawk, which is a uh, set neck, large, semi-hollow, no F-hole uh, design that uh, Joe and Reeves put together that you've seen here elsewhere on Wildwood. I bet you can find one down there. This latest edition, the Dirt Bike, uh, is named after a couple of bikes that Reeves had when he was a kid that inspired him. Lean, mean, two-wheel machines, a uh, Schwinn Stingray, and uh, I believe it was a Suzuki uh, 125cc or 100cc dirt bike of some sort. Uh, both of them were this beautiful color in metallic blue, which you will also see this model in. And Reeves's idea behind these bikes, the things that he, the thing that he really liked about it, was the simplicity and the power. And he wanted a guitar uh, that would represent that simplicity and that power in his playing uh, as he goes out to do his Reeves Gabrels, imaginary friends. Uh, and, and all the other various projects that he does, including the Cure. So neat features on this guitar. We took the Reverend Sensei platform, put the inline six headstock on it, similar to the Tricky Gomez. Um, uh, yellow dot neck, of course. It is a set neck instrument. Karina body, locking tuners on all Reverends. Uh, this is a Reverend Alnico Grande bridge pickup, a rail hammer Alnico Grande, excuse me. Um, in production, this guitar will come loaded with the Reeves Cabral signature rail hammer pickup, which you heard it here first. Uh, rail hammer will be launching Reeves Cabral's pickups a little bit later this summer. And, um, and then of course, the Wilkinson Trem, which is uh, new for Reverend uh, on this platform. Um, and like all Reverend guitars, master volume, master tone, bass contour control, that bass contour, I think making uh, all Reverend single pickup guitars, this, the Sensei Jr. Um, some of the most versatile single pickup guitars in the market because you can go from this nice thick and take some of that low end right out of it and and all of the places in between and you can roll off the tone control and get super warm tones out of it but we all know this guitar was meant to bring the rock. This one personally belongs to uh, Lance here at Wildwood. He, uh, he, he loves the Sensei model, and we went ahead and uh, got him one of the prototypes of this Reeves Cabral's dirt bike. So uh, I'm going to take it out with some rock, because that's what it was meant to do. Thanks for tuning into Wildwood, everybody, and check out the Reeves Cabral's dirt bike here at wildwood.com.